Jenny and welcome back to a new video. A few months ago Team G reached out to me to review an electric skateboard and recently they sent me another email to ask if I wanted to review a electric scooter for them. And I immediately said yes because I thought it was quite awesome because I really like my electric skateboard and I also like stuff that is like driven by a motor. So in the past I had an injury with a scooter, not an electric one but like another one and um, I don't know how to pronounce it in English but my brain got damaged. So I'm gonna do very well. I'm gonna take this one very slowly because I'm actually quite scared that I will fall on my head again. Um, also I couldn't find my safety gear so I'm really well prepared. But, um. So I'll take over from here because it was my first time filming outside in a long time so I was a little nervous. But uh, the scooter comes with a digital touch screen display, off-road wheels, a kicktail and lights to be visible during the night and brakes. The display shows you three different moduses for speed. It also shows the battery level and the degrees of the battery, if your high beam is on or not and your speed. The maximum speed is 45 kilometers an hour. Uh, we hit 40 and has a range of 80 kilometers. I haven't drove the scooter that long and far yet, so I don't know the actual range. But I also think it depends whether you stay on a flat road or climb mountains with it. The weight of the scooter is 25 kilos and it takes about 8 to 10 hours to charge the scooter. So I recommend you to charge it at night before using it. And don't run out of power because it's very heavy to carry it. <laughs> The scooter on the launching page are 1200 watt, but mine is 800. Mine was custom made for a scooter race in Italy, but that one got cancelled and they accidentally sent me one of those scooters instead of the more powerful one, which I'm totally okay with because I wanted to be extra careful anyway. So that's everything about the technical specs. Now let's go drive. <laughs> mode one it starts kind of slowly and then when it reaches its maximum within mode one which is 14 kilometers an hour then it like i don't know how to how to explain but it like yeah it holds takes, itself yeah exactly i'm actually very curious how fast it goes but i'm also a bit scared because i just took a turn and i wasn't even going that fast and i already wanted to jump off of it like what i do on my longboard which you shouldn't do because then you fall uh, <laughs> maybe you can go up as fast as you can <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> if you uh i don't want you to break your neck maybe you're less scared of me <laughs> i don't know yeah let's drive around in the forest a bit annoying is that if I want to go 20 kilometers an hour um, I can't keep it steady so I keep going like this and maybe it's because I have to like put the gas on with my thumb but I'm also trying to with my entire hand and it's still not quite steady so maybe it's me we're gonna try just driving around a bit but um, that's one thing that I noticed and yeah Sometimes 
gaat hij uit? Heb je try turning it off and on again? Yeah. I can also fix the lights with the on and off button apparently. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you have to kickstart it yourself now. <laughs> yeah. I. It's pretty awesome on rough surfaces. I don't feel unstable when I go on drive on grass and stuff like that. So mm. that's pretty cool. I like to thank Tony's friend from Team G and Tony from Kakuka, if I pronounce this right, for sending me this scooter. I have a lot of fun driving it and I think it's a pretty cool gadget. I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!